Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Johnny's Pizza House Friday Night Blitz presented by Car Giant. John Sertori, Wesley Boone. I'm happy to be here with you, man. I am, too. Happy um, to be here with you? Well, with me. Well, just with me. Okay. Anyway, tonight we've got Wascom kicking off their home slate against Shelbyville. Calvary opening district play tonight, but we begin with our game of the week, Wesley. It's Parkway and North DeSoto. First up, Jalen White. He is off to the races. Looks like he's tackled. He wasn't down. No whistle. Wow. No whistle. And, and we'll see it later on. He was actually not down. He was sitting I on I got him. a good look at it. All right, so here's Kelvin Kinney after North DeSoto's down 14 to nothing. He's picked off by Jason Williams. That sets up another Parkway touchdown. Parkway up 28 to nothing. Griffin's looking to make a comeback. Cantavius Taylor puts the Griffins on the scoreboard, but in the end, it's all Parkway tonight. The Panthers looking like contenders in District 15A. They get the win 42 to 13 tonight in our game of the week. Our Sam Rothman, she's there and she has more. Let's hear from Sam. Coming into tonight's game against North DeSoto, Parkway Panthers head coach Coy Brotherton said he felt this team was ready for the playoffs. By the way, it's just a week two, but he has good reason to say that. After two 40-point performances to start the season 2-0, Coach Brotherton says the sky's the limit for his squad. Confidence is out the roof. You know, like I said, we're, we're very experienced on that O-line, and I like our team. You know, I said that all preseason. Of, you know, we returned five offensive linemen, really six you know, with our tight end. Uh, you know, and we have a lot of experience up front. Anytime you can come in with experience and, and the explosive running backs and quarterback that we have, you know, it makes for a fun uh, fun game on the sideline. It makes play calling pretty easy for Coach Sewell. So, uh, you know, we're pretty excited about that. Offensive line made me big holes. Receivers made me big holes, and I just took advantage of it. We did great. The scoreboard can show you, I mean, we did great. Jalen White, you know, he's a junior. Uh, he had all-district performance last year. Uh, you know, one of the fourth, fourth fastest kid in the state, you know, in the state track meet last year. So uh, we know he can run. The, the energy and the atmosphere is so much different than it was last year. And, uh, you know, we're excited to, to see where this is the lead. You know, we're going to enjoy this one tonight, and we're going to try to work hard this week and, uh, and try to get 3-0. While well, Parkway is known for its explosive offense, the Panthers' defense pretty good tonight, too, forcing multiple turnovers and interceptions. Reporting from Parkway High School, I'm Sam Rothman. John, this game, a ton of fun. We'll talk more about it later. Shelbyville, they got a huge 51-14 win. Actually, this is Calvary this here. Is Calvary and Glenbrook. Glenbrook, the Apaches came to play early. Ty Feaster, throw it up to his man. Turner McClellan, 40-yard game. Feaster, he'd be picked off on the next play. That's a shame. Yes, and that would set up this. Landry Liddy, the candy man, buying some time. The candy man can. Dropping a tree to his favorite target from a week ago. Aubrey Hermes, it's quickly 7-0. Calvary Glenbrook. With the ball again, Feaster on the rollout. He's brought down hard. Ball pops out, and it's down in the end zone. We have a safety, folks. It's 9-0. Calvary Moore Liddy now off the play action. Delivers a dart over the middle. It's Xavier McLaughlin on the other side of this one. It's 16-0, but don't count. The Apaches out All just right, yet. Calvary would get the ball back on offense. Liddy looking for a man. Maddox Mangino steps in front of the pass. Great name. I love name. alliteration, And Wesley. he's off. Finally pushed out of bounds. Mandino, a spark plug. The Apaches, they let him finish it off. Glenbrook, threatening. Nicely set up screen inside for Mandino. He takes it in for the score. It's 16-7. It would be 16-14 in the second before Calvary. They run away with it. Second consecutive week, to they 14. pull away in the second half. That second quarter, big for them this week. I'm getting like arena football vibes from those Glenbrook uniforms. Let's go to Texas now. This is center taking on Gladewater. A couple of teams looking for their first wins. And when you've got a couple of teams looking for their first wins, you get crazy plays like this. This is on the kickoff. A fumble recovered by the Bears. That's Frank Sierra recovering it. And that leads to this. It's another fumble. Oh. No one wants to score. Jake Morris recovers. He's brought down. That sets up the first center drive of the game, Imante Cross under center, excuse me, quarterback sneak into the end zone, the Rough Riders, there's some real Rough Riders, take the lead, you see it there, it's 6-0, but the Bears answer, lower in the shoulder, and getting into the end zone is Jabralin Polly. take a look at the final from this one, as Gladewater adds another score there, 
It was 15 to 14 last time we checked. That's the final score in this. It was Gladewater. They get their first win of the year, a one point win. Let's take a look at some other scores now, Wesley. All right, we've got Lincoln Prep 46 to nothing over Ringgold. Panthers move to a 2 0 start. Benton statement win over Barb tonight, 49 to 40. That's probably their, look, their biggest 5A win right yeah, there. Yeah, no, we're, 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 we're going to have Jerry Bird on in the show later. I would love to talk about Benton because they could be the biggest story possibly in the state. It's very. What a great start for the Tigers. Very possible for the Tigers. Woodlawn Southwood in the battle on the border, nightcap. Both of these teams getting started at 9 o'clock tonight. Stachiris Davenport you gotta takes the handoff. Late. Things don't go great for the fullback. Ball bobbling around. Cameron Jackson hopping on it for the Knights. Ivan Shapa, though, coming in to make the tackle. Nice play. It's a big man right there. Woodlawn, they can't get their offense going. Davenport gets another chance. The big man ripping off a big gain here. And look, he's not done, John. Okay. Another big chunk play for the big boy. South All right. They were up 8-0 in Where the first. Where did these black Southwood pants come from? Is I'm, this part of another I ultimate don't know. uniform? It's very possible. Maybe it's with this National Guard uniform they're wearing. They're up 16-12 to 12 in the second half. We don't have a final yet for that, that one. That game could go until 3 in the morning. Ooh, and I kind of hope it does. I don't just, know about that. Let's that. take a look at some more scores now. All, All right. right. St. Mary's 38-6 to 6 over Buckeye. And then in Arkansas, Ashdown taking it to Hope 49 to 21. Yeah, Panthers still undefeated. Wesley could be a player in Arkansas this year. Time for some more highlights. Let's go to Huntington and Mansfield. Demonje Riley, I think he's one of the most overlooked backs. Oh, and in he's the one state of the most Louisiana. explosive players in this area. Every week, he's huge chunk plays. And he gets one there for the score. That puts the Raiders up 7 0. And then through the air, Cam Evans, only a junior. He, he could be a big time player by the time he's a senior. Fires this one for the score. Raiders looking good after that week one loss to Bird. Band looking good. They're playing well. Everything is a well-oiled machine. Wolverines looking to answer. But this pass is going to get picked off. And Huntington, they are in the win column. 40 to 20. Statement win for the Raiders tonight over Mansfield. Some more scores now. Bozier, Coach D. So close. So close. I don't know this. For Heading down to Opelousas. Yeah, man. That, it's that's tough a long to win there. That's tough a to win trip. there. It was 20 to 13. They get it to 20 to 19. Unable to convert. They lose 20 to 19. Lakeview, tough loss in week one. They get or uh, they get the win tonight over Beekman, 46 nothing. More highlights. This game from last night. Elysian Field looking for a second consecutive win, taking on Winona. First quarter, three minutes in. Yellow Jackets quarterback. Winona's Land switch switch. sister. Look at this. Fakes the handoff, keeps himself running left. No one's going to touch him. Winona Judd. Winona Judd. I love the knee brace. Rocking the knee brace. Scores the touchdown with it. Later, look at this play here. Another touchdown. That's a bullet. That is a bullet there, John. That's exactly what that is. I hope he's got a permit for that gun. Huh? Hey! There we go. We're having fun. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Big man interception. Yes! 52. Yes! Rumbling. Stumbling. Not, not really. Did you just come up with the rumbling stumbling? I did thing? not. No. That's, that's, we all know who that is. Chris Berman. And this game here, final from last night. My goodness, all Elysian Fields. Yeah, Elysian 41 Fields to really nothing good. Over the Wildcats. Let's take a look at some more scores now. I love scores. Over in Texas, Gilmer taking it to, it Atlanta. looks like Atlanta, 48-6. to All right, so is what? Gilmer just that good? Gilmer or what's is, going on with Atlanta? Gilmer is very good, John. They played in the state championship That's game. That's right. Just a year ago, Quitman taking a close one over Queen City. Battle of the Q's. To 20. Battle of the Q's. You got to love that. I love whenever we get a Battle of the Q's. All right. Let's go to some more highlights now. Paris taking on Pleasant Grove. The Lions off to a good start John, here. John, Pleasant Grove, a very tough pre district schedule. You're, you're playing saying. tough team after tough yeah. team. After tonight, as this is uh, Tadric Dawson running it in here. Jarrett Halter going to go down for the sack here. The freshman in there at quarterback. He's performed well, but surprisingly, I guess you could say surprisingly with how tough the schedule has been, Pleasant Grove is actually below 500 well, They now. sat in this position last year, too. They schedule some of the top teams in the state, so when they get around to district play, they're playing their best football. You, well, have, to, yeah, and you have to admire that schedule. Absolutely, strategy. and they're not playing bad football right now, but no, it was not enough tonight. Teams. Taking a look at the final from this one as Pleasant Grove falls tonight. 30 or uh, they did fall 31 they did 14. Fall. Yes, that 
that score should be flipped. 31 14 Paris defeats Pleasant Grove. Some more scores now. Redwater 36 14 over Edgewood. Beckville, they've been one of the more fun teams to follow so far this year. The Bearcats are 3 0. They take down Maud. 40 to nothing. Let's head back to Texas. Wesley. More Texas highlights. Sabine looking to remain unbeaten, taking on a strong Dangerfield squad. It's D. Lewis. D. Lewis takes the snap, tosses it to C.J. Gilbert. Gilbert, see you later. 75 yards later, it's a touchdown. D. Lewis, you know, that first week, I think he had seven total touchdowns Incredible. in week one. And so much of, fun to watch. This Dangerfield offense, a lot of fun. Dangerfield up eight to nothing. Now, Sabine says, Anything you can do, we can also do equally as good. Yep. It's Jace Burns. I like this pass. Finding, let's see who that is. That's Branyan. Bran That's Branigan Willage. Branigan Willage. Is righty. this a touchdown? That that is yeah, a touchdown. there it is. The That's referee confirms. This All game. Right. It's still going, though. Dangerfield. They're, they're ready to answer. More D. Lewis handing it off this time. That's DeCorian right, right up the That's gut. That's a big hole. No one's going to touch him. And Dangerfield, another 50 burger tonight. 50 Feeling dangerous! To 30 over Sabine. Man. Some more scores now. We do not have a final for Lafayette County and Genoa Central, but Broken Bow over Idabel, 33 to 14 in some Oklahoma action. Yeah, I love that we get two of our Oklahoma schools playing each other. It made me feel good. It made you feel good. You know? It's Anything nice. in this day and age make your heart warm? Right. And you know, it's, it's tough. In, it, like you said, in this day and age, to feel good about a lot, but you know, anytime you get Broken Bill, Broken Bow and Ida Bell together, you can throw the record books out. Throw it out. Get them out of here.